What's the phrase I hear most from dumpers who start to regret their decision? And it is by far the phrase, I wish I could turn back the clock. <sighs> this kills me. And I get it. They, they want this do-over, but I'll often ask, like, you know, why do you feel like at this point you've gone too far somehow? That you feel like if you can't get right back to that place where everything broke down, you can't go back now and try to make things right. And they'll pretty much say the same kind of things, like, I'm embarrassed. Uh, I feel like I've done too much. Uh, everybody hates me. I've hurt them so much. I don't know if they'll ever be able to work through it. So I know you may be saying this shouldn't be enough of a reason for someone to stay away. They should, you know, come in strong and, and, and you know, profess to the world their love and how they're going to make things right and, and do better. But people don't always go there. And I think it's really important for us to realize not everyone is going to become their highest, best self and say, I made a mistake, but you know what? This is my person. I'm going back and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to get back in there. And, uh, you know, make it work this time. Not everybody is going to do that. And I know we cannot wrap our brain around that because maybe we're the type of person that says, hey, I don't care. If I make a mistake and I know that that's my person, I'm going back in. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to apologize to everybody I need to apologize to. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. But that's not always the case. And I need everybody to understand that. If you feel at a breakup that you look at your, your person, you're like, they're going to regret this. Like, I know what we had. I know the foundation. They probably are going to regret it. And this is true a lot of the time. I don't care what people say. You know your person better than anybody. Better than anybody. And if you feel like, I think they're going to regret this, um, they just might. They just might. But what are they going to do about it? That's what separates the people that have that personal growth and really stretch and try to do the work and uh, do better and get back in there and make amends uh, from the people that may just say, you know what, I think I've done too much. I, I just have to start in a different direction and settle and, 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 and go here and make the best life I can <clears throat> in another direction. This breaks my heart, but this is the reality of life. So if you're sitting there saying, I know we had something good. I know we could have been so much more. Why aren't they coming back to me? This could be one of the reasons. And I want you to understand this has nothing to do with you and what they saw in the, uh, in the relationship. It has a lot to do with how they feel, what they can do, what they feel like they are capable of. And um, I just want to give you a perspective of that because I think everybody feels like if they don't come back, then they must not have loved me and I must not have been important. And this is not true. Sometimes people come back because they don't feel like they can do it. Not you. They. So please put it on the other person at times. Not everybody comes back. And this is a hard truth and it, and it kills me. And believe me, I'm doing my part. I'm trying to talk. Every single person who thinks they want to come back, I'm trying to get them there. Because I need them to see, yes, they can. Forget the past. Sometimes you don't want to turn back the clock and go back to being who you were at that moment. You need to be better. You need to have learned the lessons and grown and, and become a higher version of yourself. So don't wish, I wish I could turn back the clock and get back to that relationship. Because that relationship broke for a reason. Start here. Start now. Try to grow from it. Try to do everything you need to do to be that better person. Um, stretch, get to where you need to get to. There's always possibilities, always, always, always. And so um, I want everybody to feel like they have it in their power. If they really want to make a change in their life, they don't need to worry about what's going on, how everybody else feels. Do people, are people upset with you? Should you be embarrassed? Don't worry about any of that. Do the best you can to get back to what it is you need in, uh, in your life and what you want in your life. Um, but like I said, not everybody does. So it, if you're in this position, really sit with yourself and say, I know who I am. I know who I was in that relationship. I know what we could have been. If they don't choose to come back, that's on them. That's something they are battling that I can do nothing about. Because you can't. You can't. You could just go on living. Just go on with your day every single day until you get through the grief, get through the loss, get through the pain, and come out the other side. Um as a person who has learned a lot about yourself and about the people around you. Just keep going. 
daily. You, you can do this. You can and you will and you are. Let's go.